Hey, everyone. <laughs> I just have to do that. So I feel like you all know that I'm actually here. Um, this is day, this is day three of the, um, of the blue monochrome collage. Now, just so you know, if you hear, um, noise in the background, forget about it because I'm in a building with a lot of other artists and there's some, uh, there's a metal fabricator downstairs, manufacturer. So I can't control what they do. So we'll just, you know, you just work with what you have. So anyway, if you hear that, that's okay. First thing is, remember, we have so many people who are doing this and putting it online. So wonderful, wonderful papers and magazine collages. Thank you. So keep continuing to put um, your work with hashtag art with Adele monochrome. Yay. Okay. The second thing is I wanted to let you know that um, I'm going to answer live questions on Friday. First time I've ever done it. So I'm excited. I know tons of people have questions. So write them in to me so I can start with your question and just write to Adele at artwithadele.com. So send me your questions. Um, I'm really excited to, to, um, to answer them. So those are going to be, that's what I wanted to start off with. Now I have to show you, look at all the, <laughs> I'm going to explain this in a minute. Look at all the papers. Now I have to show you that they all dried. A couple of them were curled, but I just put them under a heavy book overnight and they're all flat and they're fabulous. And at the end of yesterday's video, day two, I cut out, I told you that I was going to cut out um, from the paper, the butcher block paper that I work on. And I do this a lot. So I cut out several pieces. So I did that. And, and then I did another one um, that would fit one of the pieces, the size, the width of the size of the um, paint of the substrate that I'm going to use. And these were the edges. So that we're going to start that in just a minute. Um, but I wanted to show you a couple things. One, I am going to work today on several substrates. So I've shown you this before, that this is a canvas board that's a 10 by 10 inch. You can get like tons of these in packs on Amazon or Blick online. But if you don't have that, no problem, um, because I have some wonderful watercolor paper. And I wanted to show you what it is. I got this on Amazon too. It's Create Watercolor Paper, um, nine by 12, and it's heavyweight, and it's just fabulous. This is the sheet. Look at that. Super heavy, just fabulous. So I took a couple of sheets out, and I wanted to, you have to think of what size you want to work with. So I wanted eight by 10. So I I did all of these. I cut several in eight by 10 on my paper cutter. So I have four eight by 10s ready to go. And after I do these, let me show you. Once I do them and glue them all down, this is just one of a, a frame that I happen to have, but you can put them right in any eight by 10 frame or you can mat them. So this can be, be an exercise if you happen to come out with something that you fall in love with and you want to do a series or whatever, then go for it. But this is mostly a learning experience for me too. <laughs> Every time, it doesn't matter how long you've been painting or anything else, I have to continue to invent and create things that are fun and different for me. Otherwise, I just get bored. And this is fabulous. I love doing these. And we're going to have three different ways we're going to figure out how to do the shapes. Now, one of the things I did is I just tore one of these papers last time. Um, it was just like this. And I just tore it. And then I thought, well, it was just raggedy on the edge. So I cut out just the ragged edge. And the reason I like that is it's really hard to just think up <clears throat> a shape. And so by doing this, it, I just trimmed it and I'm going to show you everything. So this is one way to make shapes. And I think I'm going to do this a lot, quite honestly. So, and then you're going to have them all around here. So that's one way we're going to do shapes. Another way is 
to look at, let me put this aside, um, to look at the ones that you did and look at the shapes inside here and see if you like any. And then just draw a quick, you know, something like it here, like this one. I like this one. So I would just do here, 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 here. I mean, obviously you can tell it's not like that, but it's a suggestion. And the, I like to have things written down or have things jotted down because uh, that way it reduces all stress of, oh, I've got to come up with a shape. So I love the scallops. So I might do that. One, two, three. Um, okay. And these are mostly just squares. This is kind of a triangle, but this is how I go through it. I want to definitely do one of these. I thought this was fabulous. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. There were two of them. Again, that's just going to remind me. And I love this shape. So I'm going to go here, way over here, angle up like this. Again, just to, just to give me an idea. And I kind of like this shape too. So I'm going to go down here, a big one up here, kind of like that. And I'll cut that off. X. What about this? Well, this I already kind of have here. Circles, text. These are mostly, oh, this is an interesting shape. So I'm going to do it down here. This, this, this. And don't be too serious. Just like, just you know, just have fun with this. So it's kind of like this. Just give me an idea. Oh, and I love this shape too. I better push over. I didn't realize I was going to find so many shapes. Um, I love this. This is one of my favorite ones and it has so few um, of these pieces. So I'm going to go, it was like this and it went up, over, around, over like this and down. Not exactly, but that's good enough. This had mostly, this was really mostly square shapes. I mean this, but that's okay. Wasn't that interesting. And I like the wedge. I'm going to do the wedge because it's just, it's just going to remind me if I can't come up with a shape, look at these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight shapes already besides just squares or rectangles. Oh, and yes, indeed. So um, this, something like that. This is mostly rectangular. Oh, this is, oh, but that's okay. Don't find anything here. What about this? I like this. Look at this. I'm using up all the, I'm going to show you. This is my reminder. I have to write everything down and I love it. Shape. We're going to tear and cut, which is what this is. We're going to copy from the collage, which is what we're doing now. And then we can also do horizontal, where you just cut them in strips, the papers. So those are the three ways you can get shapes. But <clears throat> I'm going to put this in there. It goes like this, then like this. I like that. Just that slight angle. Okay. Wow. Okay. There are tons more, and I have run out of space here. Oh, but look, this reminds me. I'm going to put this aside. So anyway, these are, do that and see what you can do. So the first one, we'll go step by step. But first, I want to show you something. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm very impatient. <laughs> I just fell in love with this. I love construct and deconstruct. So I'm going to pick, that's the first thing I'm going to do. And I have no idea how it's going to work. So um, may not work. That's totally fine. But I'm going to get out. Okay, that didn't work here. So this is an eight. Um, I am going to see, I'm going to cut it. This is a little bit bigger. So I'm just going to go up here and I'm just going to cut it <clears throat> to fit that. One, two. Again, you can see that I'm not, there's no absolute perfect, but this way we will know that it fits or close enough. And keep all this extra stuff. So I'm dying to see this construct, deconstruct. And I picked this one because it had some big shapes. And I love big shapes. And the reason I'm encouraging you to find the shapes in a multiple of ways 
is because you might find one way that really works for you and you really love. So let me put this over here. So what I do is I'm just going to fold this and I don't know if this is going to work again. I might have to fold it differently. I'm going to just fold it in thirds. This didn't exactly work. That's okay. Because I tried it. I, I did it before. I'm going to do this. I think this is close enough. I think I'm going to do this. This is good enough. And then I'm going to fold it this way and see if I can do thirds this way. That way it's going to give me a guideline. So you fold it in thirds this way and this way. Now I'm going to cut and kind of rearrange. Let's see what comes out. And again, we're just playing around. We hopefully will discover something from all this. Whoops, I didn't cut it straight. Okay, which is great. Something else will happen. There are no mistakes. It just leads you to a better place. Okay, so let's see how this looks. And I'm going to do this. And we don't like it. We just will have all these to use for something else. And these, they're not going to be exactly the same because I didn't exactly measure it. If you want to be exact, go for it. I don't do anything exact, except for maybe matting. That's an exact one. Okay. So we've got all these. Let's just arrange them on here in ways. And I don't know. I'm just going to go like this. Okay. See what it looks like. Okay. And I'm putting them vertical. Let's put something here. Let's put something here. Look how fun that this is. Okay, we're going to put something here. Here. I think I'm going to, let's see, something here. Nope. And I'm just kind of arranging them in what is your immediate reaction to, yes, trust your intuition for everything. But look at that. You could do this with smaller squares or whatever, but it's the same concept as this. You could do it with just black and white marks, but look how cool this is. So that would be one of those. I'm gonna take this off because, I don't know, I might do something else with it, but I'm gonna start, we have tons of papers. So I'm gonna start by tearing. We've got this, and I'm just going to tear a couple of them and um, and see what happens. So, and I'm going to tear it kind of haphazardly this way, maybe like this. So that's one thing. Here's another. They're two big ones. Let's see, and I'm going to cut them in just a minute. This, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, maybe I'll do here, here, there. Okay, let's do that. Now, once I've torn it, I'm gonna go back and just straighten out these edges. And if you don't, you don't even have to do this if you don't want, but I'm just doing it like I did on the paper collages. Whoops. There, so there's one shape. And I'm doing big shapes because I like to get started putting some big shapes down. So that's why I'm doing the big shapes. Okay, so we've got this, and we've got this, okay, and we've got this. And after all these papers, I'm going to have tons of collages. Okay, we're back to, let's see, okay, there we go. So we have these two, we have this, um, let me see, I'm going to... Here, I'll do this way. I'm gonna just trim the edges because I don't wanna actually be too conscious of a design um, or a shape. I, I mean, I will have some here, but try all the different kinds and see which way or a combination of ways you like to find the shapes for this. Because this is basically what we did in the finding them in the um, magazines. So let's do that. Now let's see what else. We're starting to get, I'm going to put the big ones over here. And then I'm going to do some smaller ones. So these are the bigger ones. Oh, and this is something else I wanted to show you. If I'm doing, 
eight by 10. And this one is whatever size, this one is a 10 by 10. So I want to know, like, I'm just going to take a random one. I'm going to need, if I wanted to go all the way across, and I kind of like some of them going all the way across, I need to make it 10 inches. It won't go this way, so the eight, but this one, the 10. So I have to cut some of these this way. And the same thing for this. This is eight by 10, eight by 10. So it's eight. So um, let's see, should I do an eight by 10? I'm gonna do an eight by 10, this one, and then we'll do a 10 by 10. So I'm just gonna make a mark here and here. And I'll just fold it in half and see what that is. Okay, so you're going to have enormous piles of fun here. All right, let's see. Okay, so we've got this, um, which is going to be for the 8 by 10. So you want to have different things for this. Okay, so that could be it, but of course we might not want something that big, but you might want something that big. Okay, let's just spur the moment. Let's see. I'm going to I'm going to do this. I put this aside. When you get an idea, just go with it. Just leave everything else aside. So I got that idea. Now, if I were to do it really simple and just put a couple of pieces on here. Let me take some of these. Do I love this? Okay. I might. Who knows? Okay, that's a maybe. Not this. Maybe a plain one. Or maybe this up here, and, or this shape. Okay, that's a yes. I love that shape. Um, and maybe we'll do something down here. No, no, no. I don't see the, oh, I know. Maybe, see this. I'm going to kind of go off. So I like that, but I'm going to go off here. And then look, we have another shape. But I kind of liked it like this. Do I want it like this and cut it off here or this and cut it off here? I think I like this. So I'm going to do this. I know I keep saying this, 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 and it's about here. So, th and look, you're going to, by do, it's just starting, you're going to come up with tons of them. So look at that so far. Okay. So say this is your beginning. So, okay, you have this one as a beginning. So take this up and put it on the side because that's one beginning. That's why I cut a whole bunch of these. Here's another one. Here's another one. Let's just say we were going to go with this concept. And let's see, is it this way? Okay, maybe this way. I love this. So I would pull it over here. And how about this? Maybe like that. Um, I don't really have a whole lot right now, but that's okay. Maybe like this, maybe like this. Maybe I should get to cutting. <laughs> you see what happens? Or that or that. Yes, I'm going to get to cutting more. So we have more to choose from. But we see how we get started. So I'm actually putting this over here because I like these two together. And I'm going to cut this side because I want... I like this shape over there. So you can get a whole bunch started and I have to go from, I, I get them started and then go, then later finish them. Or, you know, once you get the whole thing. So I'm gonna have this. Oh, and I wanna make sure I have this too. I don't wanna forget this one. Okay, I'll put this over here now. Okay, now we're going to do some more of these. Look at all these. I haven't even hardly gone through them. The tear and cut. Okay, I'm going to do, let's do, so we did the tear and cut. Let's try to do one of these. And what I do with this is I'm going to turn it on the back. And let's say I want to do this one. Well, it's at the top. And I'm going to go, I'm just going to go here. Okay. And then do I want to do anything here with the bottom? Um, I could do, let's see, how about this? So I would go, that's the edge or here, and I would go here, all the way here to the side. So then I cut it out. It's kind of like surprise, surprise, surprise. So that's this one.
one. And the other thing you do is you get great shapes because you have um, cut them out, the negative shapes that you cut out. So you're going to get tons and tons of shapes, but you got to get started doing something like this. Okay. All right. So we got this one. Ooh. And this one. <laughs> fun. Fun. Okay. And I don't typically like this, Scott, this thing. So I'm going to just cut that off. I'll do a couple of straight edges, but I like this. Or it can go like this. Okay, I'm going to put it in the big pile. So what else? What else? Do we want to do more of these? I know I'm going to do some that are just horizontal. We're going to do some horizontal. So we've done, we've done the tear and cut, the copy from the collage, although we're going to do more of all of these. I'm just showing you in the beginning. So we have this and okay, so here are the stripes. I'm going to put this right here. All right, I'm going to put this. Do I want to do anything? I'm not going to do anything right now because this is what you can do. So you don't have to cut every one because you could have one of the ones you did cut like this, overlapping. So there. And then here's this. So what's next? What's next? What's next? Um, these are solids. This is one of the ones I would do the construct, deconstruct with. But I am going to tear. Huh. And, and I turn it. Okay. Oh, I love this method. I like haphazard. But the combination of both is what's so great. So do a little bit of everything. Now, the horizontal, I love stripes and I love horizontal design and composition. So, of course, I had to have one like that. Look at that cool shape. Okay. Um, wow, I'm going to make so many collages. Let's see. Wow, I'm telling you, I think I could have like 20. I think I could have like 20 of these. See, I love that. Okay, one more of the cut and, or if I want to do something, let's do that. Okay. Okay, there's that one. And here's this one. Okay. And again, you don't have to have like, since this is straight and this is straight, you might want to come in here and do something like that. Okay, so much fun to cut. I can't wait. I think I'm going to stay here all day <laughs> and work on these. So, wow. Okay, let's let's just tentatively work on a, a, a 10 by 10. We have two possibilities for 8 by 10, but a 10 by 10. I don't know even if I have, I don't think any of these, except for maybe this one. This one I measured and cut, but I don't think any of the other ones are like that. So I'm going, not that it matters. Because I could do, let's see, I could do something like this. Um, I could do something like this. I could put this here. See, and then overlap something here. What do I like here? That, a lot of patterns. See, this is where I really learned I want to have some plain colors. So I kind of like that. I'm just tearing that. Okay. And then I'm going to do this. Everything just starts to come together. Or do I like it like this? I think I like it like this better. And put this up against the edge. Now we still have a long way to go. Hmm. This. I kind of like this on top of this. So you can put these on top. Because look at this. I might end up taking this light blue away and doing something like this. Okay, now I need something solid. Do I like this one? Um, let me take a look at the solids. Here are some solids. Oh, I love the dark. This is such a beauty. And this. See, and I'm just holding this up before I tear. 
I like it because it picks up this. This I have a lot of. And if I wanted to, I could have the whole thing just in these lights. So I'm going to do something here. I'm going to tear. I'm going to tear. Let's see. This is basically what you do over and over. And you just make sure, make sure you have a table that's big enough because look at this. I have spread out everything. And you could do that. Or think of this. You could put this under here and have something like this here. See? Or you could go up this way. Oh, I love that curve. And if I wanted to do this, say, see, because this is the negative space. So say I wanted to do that. I just need something here to cover it. And I'm not quite sure, would it be this? I'm actually going to cut this one in two, just because. And maybe I'll move this. I don't know. Do I like that better? It's all trial and error. Do I like this? You know what I'm thinking of is something like this. Move it around. Okay, now that I have that underneath, how do I like that? I don't know. I have to keep working, keep working, keep working. I know I do like this. Um, I'm going to put this up here. So we have the, kind of like a, a mountain or whatever, but I like that up there, and I like this here. So you can totally change everything. There are a million ways to do this. And I like this here. Or here. No, I like it here. Just tentatively showing. Okay, well, we already have that. Let's see what else we've got here. Is there anything else we want to put? Now this, uh, we might need something up here, huh? How about that? How about this? Yes, I like that. And I'll tell you why. Because when you go, like, it flows through. It keeps your eye going through this up here, but in a really interesting way. So I like this so far. I'm going to pick this one up and put this aside so far. So we have one of the 10 by 10 and two of the 8 by 10. So let's go back to this one and see if we have found anything that we want to add to it. Um, and look, and you can always go through here. Do I want to do circles? You could just look and see. Do I want to do this? I love this one. Um, okay. I don't know about this. I love this up here, here. Actually, I really like it down here. Look, we've got, we're, see how much we're overlapping and the different blues? Oh, I like this down here. And I love the white because it brings my eye all the way down here. So um, let's see. So I am doing that. Let's see what else. Is there anything else I like in here that I want to add? Not right now. Okay. So that's that one. Now I'm going to do one, another paper, another 8 by 10 That's just the horizontal, just horizontal. Oh, good. So this is this is a big one here. I'm going to cut off one of the edges just a little bit so it fits. I love horizontal, by the way. So you could do this. Let's see what else we have. Here's one. And you don't have to cut that up yet. If you want, if you end up liking it, you can cut it up later. So I like that. That um, we have this color. Oh, here's something. Do we want it here or here? Maybe here. And you just keep layering and layering. Ooh, I like that too. I'm gonna cut this. <clears throat> I'm gonna cut this. And I'm gonna slip this under here because, watch this. I really love this shape. So I wanna show this shape. So I have this. Even though, okay, see, this is what happened. I started with the horizontal, and I did, but then I love this shape so much. So this is a horizontal start and then end with not 100% horizontal. I love this. Okay, 
I just something up here. I just want to see if I want anything else up here. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Um, I already have this one. Let's see. Do I want something up here like this? I like, I'm going to, I'm going to cut it like this. Look, see, I'm just going to go for, this is what we have. That's cute. I like that. I know cute is a no-no, but you know, I like cute. So there you go. Do what you like. So I'm going to keep all these. You see, you're going to have tons and tons of them. Do I like this better? It's not quite so dominant. Or do I like it down here? Do I like it here? Um, do I like, this is, I'm going to do this up here. I like this shape. Do I like that better? No, I think I like the solid better. See, so try different things and you are going to see which ones you like the most. So right now from what we've tried, oh, and I forgot about these, this green one. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Oh yeah, here it is. Or do I want it here or off center? I like things off center. If I put it here, that means something else. And it kind of, this works. Let me explain something about weight. So you've got all of them. You've got weight here and you've got weight here because this is a big shape. So to counterbalance this, it's like if you're in a seesaw, you want to put something over here. If you put it like this, look, everything's too weighted. I feel like I'm going to fall over on this side. But, and just keep trying, sliding it on the thing, wit on this paper, which one is better? Which one do you say, that's it, and trust your instinct? And I love that this came over. So this would, I love this. This is going to be one finish. I'm going to glue that later. Um, so I have that and that. Oh, I have one more. So I'm working more on the 8x10 papers, which I love. So say I had this. Oh, yeah, I was going to do, <laughs> I was going to do a horizontal. So let's do a horizontal. Um, this is kind of horizontal. If I did something here and here, let's go with that. Suppose you have shapes done. Let's reinvent the word or push the word horizontal. This is horizontal. This is horizontal. This is horizontal. I like, I like this color. How about this? Okay. I love this shape. Watch this. I just love this shape. I don't know why. I'm going to put this somewhere. So, okay, thinking horizontal. Think horizontal. Let me take a look here. Oh, okay, let's do this. This is eight and a half by ten. I'm going to do this. So this is horizontal. You're going to have some of everything. And once you start cutting, you can see it's quickly going to take shape. So here's a horizontal. So let me do some more. Let's do, okay, so we've got that horizontal. I love this in here. Let's see if, first of all, if we find anything in here that we like already, and um, that's the horizontal. Oh, look, this is calling my name. This is calling my name. I'm not sure why, but I love that. So this baby is coming out. <laughs> here we go. That, that, look at this. And this so far. Now we still have some work to do here. Um, let me take a look. And look, I've hardly even started. But you can see how you really do want to have a lot more. Oh, look, maybe a stripe here. Yes, that's a yes. If you hold it up and go, ooh, that's it. How big do we want it? Do we want it large? Let's do it. I'm going to do this in half in case we want it that big. I always do it bigger first so that you can decide if you want it that big. I like this here and this here. So I'm thinking like, like this, somehow like this, that's it. Like around there. Okay, let's take, see what that looks like. Oh man, you see how much fun you can have? And you don't have to think hard. It's just, I'm telling you, I'm in the middle of doing a lot of research on intuition and instinct. But intuition. And if you did paintings just by your intuition, look, I'm going to do something else. Do I want it this way? 
intuition will lead you. That is a yes. I mean, how is that? And look, one, two, three, four pieces. That's my favorite so far with the least amount. So should we go on or should I, um, I'm going to do, oh, I have one more piece. Let's do one more piece. And oh, let's see. How about if I just, I want to try some of these. I want to try some of these. So I'm going to, let's do another horizontal quote unquote, because the horizontal doesn't end up to be horizontal there and there. Now that was together. I shouldn't have cut it, but whatever. Um, how about this? This was, you know, this is too very similar. I like. How about this? And you can try them underneath first. Do I? You can put a whole piece underneath to just see if you like it. Um, that and that, and maybe a little bit of this. Look, a little bit of this. And is that the color I want underneath? I'm going to try another color. Suppose this color. There. And I, you see, I really like this here. So I'm going to put, suppose I put this here and this here. Okay. That's a good start to a horizontal. And let's see what else. I'm just looking through here. Oh, I know. This is calling my name. Um, either this or this. So I'm going to do, I'm going to cut the scallops with the line first and just put it on there. And see, yeah, I like that. Or does it go here? And this is the other thing. You could do it this way. That's why you want a ton of these papers. I kind of like it like this. And so look how cool we have this somewhere else. Oh my gosh. Look, I've hardly started and look at the, all these. And do I want to put, no, I'm going to, this is a no. Just hold it up. And see, is it a yes or a no? Is it a yes or a no? Now, this caught my eye because um, I love the wedge. And it's not all the way across because we want to break some rules. Not that there are any rules, but I like it like that. Let me test a couple other ones just to see. I did love this shape. I did love this shape. So I do I want this shape? Do I want it here? Do I want it here? I don't like that, but I want to see the shape. So, so far, but you know, I hardly see this. So I'm putting this here or should I put it here? Oh my gosh. You, you, those in the Academy understand that I think out loud all the time. That's how I work. Um, maybe like this, I kind of like this and I like some that are just structured, so it's fine. I like that better. See, it's like this or this, like you're at the eye doctor and they put these lens in front of you. Do you. Is this one better or is this one better? Keep trying, keep trying. No, make sure you have enough that are just plain because I didn't make enough that are just plain. Um, but I love this. Look, now look at all these. See, we have one started. Let me push up, put all these over here because... I think, oh, here, let me see. So just with this, and I haven't even started with all these, and anything extra, you can just put on your in your collage paper tray. And I use restaurant trays for my collages. But I want to show you. Let's look at each one we did today. Um, I'm going to put these over here because look at all these. See, once you have your paints out and you're, and you're painting, just continue because you want a whole stash of these so you can do a whole bunch of them. So I'm going to put this over here. So here's one of them that we did. And you might not like this one. I might work on it. I'm not sure. But here's one. Um, so we did one. Here's another one. I love this one. Okay. And let me just say, if you really like what we've done today over the three days, I am finally getting to tell you about <laughs> the Art with Adele Academy. And the Art with Adele Academy is going to open on Monday. It only opens, okay, here's another one. It only opens three times a year, and it's the last time. It's only, it's an art school. It's going to only, it's only $30 a month now. And in May, it's going to go up to $38. Um, 
So if you're interested, grab it now. These are the kind of things that we do, and there are over a hundred videos there. I wanna make sure that I can help make art for you easy and fun, but also very successful. If you wanna, if you, you know, and, and not, and learn from all the things I've spent my lifetime learning. And this has been fun. So I'm gonna, just to recap, look, we've got all these four, uh, oh, and what, look, I almost forgot this one. Here's our 10 by 10. Look how fabulous. If you glue these down and finish them, this is the other thing we did. Remember, we tore and cut, we copied from the collage, co collages that we made, and we did horizontals. So um, this also, so remember, questions on Friday, uh, I'm gonna answer them, but please send me any questions. You can send me 10 questions if you have it. As many as you want. I want to answer everything. Send them to R Adele at artwithadele.com. And I'm going to answer them on Friday, January 21st. First, and make sure with these, I'm going to glue these and put them up. And you'll see the finished pieces. Make sure you, whatever you do, play, if we can all see it because we all learn that way from everyone else's. You'll see something like, oh, I like the way she did that beige. I like that shape. So let's share because all artists, we are all in one special group. We are special people. I'll tell you that. So hashtag art with Adele monochrome. <laughs> I'll see you on Friday.